we're doing a Minecraft mob battle. But I can combine any mobs together. With this mob master device, I can combine two different mobs and make them one. And of course, I'm secretly going to cheat with my super cool cameras. Anyways, Josh, are you ready to start this mob battle? Hey, Swifty, yes. Let's go. This is going to be so epic. I'm going to spawn the most strongest mobs ever. Well, I'm pretty sure I have the strongest mobs, so I'm going to win. No, I am. Oh, no, you're not. I'll make sure you lose. Well, too bad for you because I'm going to win. All right, guys, so like I said, I can combine two mobs into one. So I can literally combine a creeper and an enderman and make it into a creeper enderman. But I'm not going to spawn that mob. I'm going to spawn an even stronger one. So right here, I've built a super cool mob mashup device. I'm gonna put mobs on both sides and then once I flip this lever, a whole entire completely different mob will spawn. So over here, guys, in this box, we're gonna go ahead and put an enderman here. Don't you move, enderman. I'm gonna let you stay there. And over here in this box, we're gonna spawn a lion. My new mob will have the power of an enderman and a lion. But before I go ahead and flip this lever, let me type this code in first. So here, we're gonna put enderman just like that. And over here, we're gonna put lion. And then now I'm gonna flip the lever. It did! There we go! Look at my new mob now. He is just like a lion. Like, he's literally standing like a lion. He even has a teeth of a lion. But at the same time, he also looks like an enderman. Oh, and it looks like after I combine two mobs, I got the egg of my corrupt enderman. And now I can spawn even more of these guys. Let's go. I can't believe my device actually worked. I'm going to use the device to make some insane mobs. All right, but before we start this first round, let's go ahead and spy on Josh and see what mob he's going to spawn. So, let's to use my cameras press number two and what kind of mob is that i have to spawn one of the greatest mobs of all time it's the armored alien this not normal mob this is a guy from outer space so he's super strong he spawned a futuristic alien what this is like a whole entire alien. It doesn't even really look like an alien. It looks more like a robot. Just look what he could do. He could shoot out lasers from his eyes. Oh, this is the perfect alien. And it's time to see how powerful my alien is. One alien versus the dumb little villager. Oh, what's about to happen over here? Who's going to win? Oh, whoa. That armored alien just killed that villager in one strike. Oh, I'm totally going to win now. No, I don't think he's going to win. My crap Enderman, I think, are a little bit stronger still. All right, Josh, are you ready? start this first round of the mob battle round one here we go i'm so ready let's do this come on corrupt endermans no come on aliens it's time for me to win this game no you're not yes charge at them let's go we're gonna defeat all of your armored aliens they don't stand a chance well my aliens will just take your mobs into outer space we're gonna abduct to abduct you guys Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> My corrupt Enderman are pushing him over the edge and making him fall down. What? All right, aliens, you guys gotta fly. You guys are from outer space. My aliens have to fly out of here. It kind of does look like they have a jetpack, but I guess they don't know how to use it. No, I spawn dumb aliens then. Oh, here we go. There's two fighting right here. Let's go. Oh, no. Dang it. My armored... Oh, dang it. My corrupt Enderman died. But this should be all right. We still got backup. Oh, I don't think you could win this, Swifty. My aliens are turning up their strength. They're becoming more powerful every second now. Just look. Come on, Endermans. We got to win. No, he died. Are you serious? Come on. He's right here. They're two fighting each other. I saw my corrupt Enderman would be stronger. He's do your, your alien is doing a lot of damage. I told you my aliens are super powerful. I mean, they can even defeat some dumb villager. So, of course, they can defeat an Enderman. And there's no more Endermans on this battlefield. Are you serious? And that means one thing. You lost the mob battle. Haha. <laughs> um, uh, I don't think that's right, Swifty. Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. You won this mob battle. I can't believe you won that. I won because my aliens are the best. The reason why they won this is because they have this super strong armor on. We got that strong armor and your Endermans had nothing. See you later, Swifty. Get ready for round two. Dang it, guys. I saw my corrupt Enderman would be stronger. But those armored aliens were so tough to beat. I gotta win this second round. So you know what? I think I'm gonna spawn a zombie golem. This zombie golem is half iron golem and half zombie. Oh, shoot. They just killed each other. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put him into my device. Right here, we're gonna spawn a zombie. There we go. And then over here on this side, we're gonna put the iron golem. It's a good thing these guys don't know how to open doors or else they would just escape everywhere. All right, so let me go ahead and type my code, zombie. And then over here on this other box, we're gonna put iron golem, just like that. And then now guys, I think you guys know what's next. 
Let's flip the lever. Did it work? It did. There we go. Look at that. My zombie is now mixed up together with the iron golem. This body is the same way as the iron golem, but has the same skin and clothes as a zombie. And oh yes, it came with the spawn egg. Let's go. You know what, guys? I wonder what happens if I put an iron golem and a zombie golem together. So let's spawn an iron golem and, a, and my zombie golem. Who's going to win? Okay, let's see. Come on. Oh, my zombie golem just defeated that iron golem. This guy is so strong. Oh my god. And he's fast, too. I know for sure I'm going to win the second round. But before we start it, let's go ahead and spy on Josh again. So let's use my camera. Select number two. I'm so happy that I won round one, but I'm not done yet. Let's spawn the Kraken. What kind of mob is that? This mob is a level three. And he actually does look like the Kraken. Now, this is sort of like the first mob that I spawned because it's another alien from outer space. And if I spawn this dumb little villager, just take a look at the damage my Kraken does. Here we go. Fight this villager and kill that little dumb villager right there, Kraken. What is he about to do? He's trying to attack that villager, but he's not doing anything. Wait, what? Villager? Wait, Kraken, what are you doing? Why are you becoming friends with it? I think this mob is too nice. He's literally doing no damage to the villager. He's so weak. They don't stand a chance against my golem. All right, Josh, are you ready to start this second round? Uh, I think I'm ready. I think I could win this. I hope. Let the mob battle begin. Yes, yes. We're killing your mobs instantly. It literally takes them one strike to kill your mobs. And they're already dead. This is bad. This is not going good. I thought these aliens were strong, but it turns out they're weak. Look at them. They were like, it's just running at them and then hitting them super hard. You should have chosen a better mob. Well, I thought I spawned a good mob, but these aliens are just terrible. That was like such a super fast mob battle. And what, you're just going to keep spawning more? You can't win this. Yeah, I can. I just have to spawn a million aliens. This is bad. I can't even spawn a million because they die so fast. All right. I, I think I'm, uh, I think I have no chance against this. And your mobs are just too strong. Let's go. Zombie golems are the best. <laughs> zombie golems might be the best for this round, but not for round three. Let's go. I won the second round. Now the score is 1-1 one, one and it's tied. But it's not going to be 1-1 one, one forever because I'm going to win this round two, the third one. So the mob that I'm going to spawn is called a charge robot. So over here in this one, we're going to put a robot... Just look at this robot. This is like a full-on robot and everything. Over here, we're going to put this robotic bird. This doesn't even look like a bird, actually. And over here, let me type my code, robot. That's literally all I need to say. And then over here in this one, we're going to put robotic bird. And then let's flip the lever. Did it work? It did. Let's go. Look at my charge robot now. It even has a super cool robotic sword. Okay, hold on. Let me get him out of this cell real quick. Look at my charged robot. He's a full-on robot with like a super cool sword. And why don't we see how strong he is against the iron golem? And why don't we see how strong he is against the iron golem? Who's gonna win? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the iron golem stand no chance against my charged robot. I can't wait to win this round as well. And now guys, let's go ahead and spy on Josh. So let's use my invisibility potion this time. Let's go over here around the wall and let's see what mob he's gonna spawn. I'm spawning the Winkinator. This Winkinator is pretty strong and much better than the aliens because it's not from space, so this time, hopefully it's a good one. Is this like a nether warden or something? It's called a Winkinator, so he's not really a warden. But he looks super scary. Actually, he looks kind of weak because he's so skinny. I didn't want to spawn another mob from the outer space alien world, so I got one from the nether. I wonder well, how much damage he's going to do against a villager, or can he even kill a villager? But I have to do an experiment first. All right, Mr. Winkinator, kill the villager. Kill oh the villager. Wait, he just killed a villager instantly. Oh, yeah, you're much better than the last mob I had. You know what? Why don't we test his powers against an iron golem? And guess what? If he's not able to kill this iron golem, he's just gonna die. Iron golem? Whoa! Wait, hold on. That was a good shot. He just killed the iron golem in one single strike. I gotta see that again. Let's see. Okay, There's there we go. One. What are you gonna do? Yay, the Winkinator could win this. He just killed the iron golem again. This guy's strong. This might be a tough battle for my charged robot, but I think we can win still. And with that being said, Josh, are you ready to start this third round? Yes, I am. Let's break down the wall. All right, let's the battle begin. Come on, charged robots. We got this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mobs are those? I spawned the charged robots, and you're, you're, and you're about to lose. Yes, we put, we've got them over the edge. 
That's perfect. Oh, this is not good. I mean, your mobs are not good. My wing canators are from the nether, so they could take down these dumb robots. Well, mine are... Oh, no! They just both died. No, I'm going to spawn. Just you wait. I'm going to spawn even more. I got, I'm going to make sure I win. I don't think that helps, Swifty. Yeah, it does. Use your super sharp sword, robots. That sword can't do anything. I told you, the Winkinators are from the nether. They're impossible to kill. That doesn't matter anymore. Oh my gosh, what's happening over here? Oh, yes. Am I winning? I think I am winning. Let's go. Yes. It looks like we both have the same amount of mods right now. No. Hold on. Hold on. I have two more. I have three more. Maybe four more left. You literally only have one Winkinator left. Uh-oh. It's a 1v1 now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Push him over the edge. Let's go. Yes. Charge Robot for the win. Well, Charge Robot was actually better than I thought, Swifty. So, uh... You're going to lose round four now. Nope, I'm going to win again. Just wait and see. I think you're probably cheating. That's how. That's the only way you're beating me. There's no way I'm cheating. I never cheat in these mob battles. Right, guys? I literally never cheat. Phew, I literally almost lost that one. For a second, I thought I was about to lose. But it's a good thing my charged robots came in clutch. For this next round, I'm going to spawn something a bit similar to what I used in the last round. He is called the Blue Samurai Golem. So for him, in this box, we're going to need a samurai. Just look at this samurai. This is crazy. And then in the other box, we're going to need this Blue Magma Might. He literally looks like a Blue Iron Man a little bit. And now let me go ahead and type the code Blue Magma Might. And then in this one, we're going to put Samurai 2. And then now let me just activate this device. Did it, did it work? It did. Let's go. Wait a second. Why is he dying? Blue Samurai, are you alright? Maybe I just gotta get him out of this box real quick. Okay, phew, there we go. Look at him. He is called the Blue Lava Samurai Golem. He's a samurai just like that villager samurai. And he has blue lava all around him. Just watch, he's gonna be so epic. Look what he does to this regular normal samurai. Just look. There we go. Oh, they're charging. Oh my gosh. Did you just see that? One single slice. It all it took to kill that samurai. It's going to be another win for me in this round. All right, Josh, are you ready to start this round? Yes, I am, Swifty. And you won't believe what mob I have. Oh, what kind of mob is that? What is that? The magical poison mushrooms. This, this is like a giant mushroom samurai? Oh, it is. They're mushroom knights. They're mushroom samurais. They're pretty much everything mushroom. They're like a purple poisonous mushroom i shouldn't get close to them come on samurais we got this blue lava sam oh no dang it he lost but it's all right i still have a lot more it doesn't matter how much you spawn swifty come on your mushroom my mushrooms are just too powerful they're too toxic no they're not they're literally falling why they they just fell over the edge why did they just do that for Hey, look! Um, I still have one blue lava samurai left. Let's go. Mushrooms? Well, what did you guys do? Where did you all go? Maybe they're... Swifty, stop hacking this game. You're cheating. I know you are. That's the... Why would my mobs fall off the map? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything at all. I just chose a better mob. Okay, you know what? Why don't we decide to win out of this round by having both of our mobs 1v1? Uh, all right, fine. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Let's do 1v1 mushroom. Let's see. Mushroom? Yes, yes. No, come on, Sam. Samurai, please win this round. You are so much stronger. I am stronger, and I will win. No, don't go over the edge. I'm literally going to block them from going over the edge. Stop. Stay there. Come on, kill him. Don't fall over the edge. What are you doing, Blue Samurai? And No. Oh, my gosh. They both just fell over the edge. No way. Is that a tie? I think it is a draw. What does this mean? What do we do? I think it means we need to have one last final round. Well, let's do it. I will defeat you. Nope, I will. Guys, that was such a crazy round. I can't believe we literally had a draw. So in order to decide the winner, we're going to have one last final round. And I'm going to spawn like one of the most powerful bosses ever. The Nest Ender. Over here in this box, we're going to spawn this dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so big he almost doesn't fit in my device wait what just happened he just destroyed my whole entire device are you serious how am i supposed to combine my mobs now wait what is that what kind of what is this a splash potion the mashup potion it looks like that blue dragon dropped this little mashup potion i might be able to combine my mobs now i hope this works let me spawn my golden knight and the dragon let me use this potion on both of them it didn't wait it did work wait what is this i got it 
the Nest Ender. But I'm not gonna spawn my mob just yet because he is so powerful. He will literally destroy this whole entire map. All right, Josh, are you ready to start this fifth and final round? Oh, I am ready. Get ready to lose and ready for you to lose, that is. Oh, no. Oh, what? It looks like you spawned a Wheel of Flesh. This is the final mob that I got. So I had to give it everything. Well, just you wait. I'm gonna spawn the Nest Ender. I got the Nest Ender and he's like literally the strongest boss ever. Look at him. Come just on, Nest Ender. Kill all these guys there's no way that your nail nendeter is gonna stand a chance nope is he will come on he's like the strongest boss ever get out of here wheels of flesh you'll stand a chance i think i do oh yes you're outnumbered come on use your super sword and he's super cool he can literally spawn lightning from the sky lightning when did your mob spawn lightning oh he just he just he had the power to do it your wheels of flesh don't stand a chance Come on, we almost killed one of them. Wheel of Flesh, where are you guys going? It looks like you only have one left. Finish him off, Ness Ender. No way. Hey. Yes? Let's go! He fell off the edge! Let's go! Ness Ender is just too strong! Yeah, I guess your mob is just overpowered for us. He's like a whole entire boss. Look at this dude. He's that even... guy's way too strong. He should be banned from Minecraft. Well, it's a good thing you're not, because we just won this mob battle. If you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and click the video on the screen to watch more videos like this. See ya!